Hey everybody, it's Jasmine, and today I want to share with you guys some random makeup favorites, beauty favorites. Um, as you guys know, I kind of stopped doing my monthly hits and misses, and that's only because I've gotten a lot of DMs telling me that they actually don't like the video. Like a lot of people just don't like my hits and misses, and they actively just don't watch it. So I just thought, you know, what's the point in uploading something that people aren't going to watch? So I kind of just came up with the idea of just bring you guys random videos of just my random favorite products and just kind of ditching the misses part I guess so I hope you guys really like this one and without further ado I'm just gonna go ahead and get started with no transition we are going to start with the morphe 2 lip mask it's been a while since I've actually purchased anything from the morphe brand itself and I was actually really surprised that I ended up liking a skincare product right so this actually was introduced to me by my sister. Now, she actually bought this at the Morphe store and she actually bought it on a whim because none of us had lip balm. When I was actually waiting to go get my COVID vaccine, this is like months later, I asked my sister, hey, do you have any chapstick in the car? I'm like really nervous right now. She hands me this. The moment I used it on my lips, it was like a whole new world. I felt like this was the original Bite Beauty Agave lip mask formula. As you know, they did change their formula and this is like the original. It's thick, it's sticky, it stays on the lips and it's only like $9, which is a lot cheaper than Bite Beauty. So um, yeah, it's really amazing. It's really awesome. And if you haven't tried it, maybe you should. If you are still upset about the formula change of Bite Beauty, maybe you should look into this. This has no scent whatsoever. And I feel like the new agave lip um, mask line has a formula or has a scent in the formula so it is a little bit off-putting but this is like just basic it's really straight to the point and it's really amazing now speaking of lips I do have a couple of lip products here I want to talk about um, would you guys be surprised if I told you that I like a pink lip product hmm would you because I'm very surprised and it's this shade Hello, this is by Clarins and this is their Lip Comfort Oil Shimmer. Now this one is in the shade Pretty in Pink and I also actually own like an orangey one and that one's in my bag. But this is so pretty. Now if I hold it up to the camera, you guys will probably see that there is a lot of shimmer and glitter. Now right off the bat, you're probably thinking, wow, this is something you would not have ever purchased. And you, my dear friend, is correct it, it yeah very correct I actually was sent this in PR and I really wanted to try it because I originally had tried the lip oil in person like years ago when I was working for Shiseido there's a huge bug on my window it's very unsettling um, and I really liked it and I always thought okay well if I have enough money I'm gonna buy it but it was sent to me and this one is the shimmer version so I was a little skeptical because I don't like anything shimmery or metallic on my lips but this is absolutely beautiful it's very sheer and it looks like this when you have it on the lips once you sheer it out it is just a kiss of color it is so stunning so beautiful this oil lasts on the lips the same amount of time as a lip mask it is beautiful it has such nice adherence it's not a slippery oil by any means it just sticks there and it just looks shiny and glossy all freaking day long um i take that back not all day long but i want to say maybe for a solid three hours, which is a pretty long time for a lip oil. This color is stunning, and once you sheer it out, those shimmers really disperse, and it looks beautiful on the lips. It does not look like shimmer, it just looks like more glossy, and that is beautiful. It just feels so stunning, and you kind of feel expensive because it is Clarins. My next favorite lip product is actually by Kaleidos, and it is their Cloud Lip Clays. Now, these are really amazing, and I actually have um, a lot of lip swatches on my channel in case you guys are wondering um, but in specific I do like the Sandcastle quad now the Sandcastle quad is going to be all of your nudes and I like this more as an eyeshadow base I actually like putting this on before my eyeshadow so that it could last a lot longer and because it's that velvet texture it blends out easy and smooth now I just really like this because it's convenient if I want to just use it on my eyes and then my lips it just works out I love the formula both 
on the eyes and lips so it works out it's kind of a two-in-one and I believe these are only like $12 individually which is not that bad for years, a lot of you guys have been telling me to try Misha, and I finally decided to bite the bullet and buy their BB cream. Now, I have the Perfect Cover BB Cream SPF 42 number 27, and that is the shade Honey Beige. Now, this is like a little bit off of my skin tone, but I think no one else can really tell aside from me because I'm like comparing like my chin to my neck like 24 7 but this is really amazing so I actually got this off of yes style and I do have a yes style code linked in the description box in case you want to try anything for yourself but normally I am not a BB cream person but let me read you guys the claims of this one Misha M Perfect Cover BB Cream innovatively pairs makeup and skincare with a BB cream that helps brighten skin tone, care wrinkles, prevent signs of aging, and heal blemishes while providing excellent coverage. And it's true. Now, the way I actually like using this is with a sponge. Obviously, if you use a brush, it's fuller coverage. But what I do is I do one full pump and I blend it out. I do another pump and I blend it out. Normally, with foundations, you could get away with doing two pumps, blending it all in one go. But once you layer, I feel like you get the best coverage. And it's more of like a medium coverage for me. It doesn't go up too high. But once you pair it with concealers and everything, your skin looks so good. It lasts on the skin just like foundation and you just get that added benefit of SPF in there. Um, obviously, I don't have any wrinkles or any um, crazy blemishes, so I can't really tell you um, how well those claims work. But just on my skin, I think it works beautifully. It's probably one of the best BB creams I've tried. Normally, when I have tried BB creams, they are way too light in coverage. I feel like they're really oily. They look like I have bacon grease on my forehead at the end of the day. This doesn't do that. It kind of just stays just how you applied it in the morning, which is amazing. Now, speaking of concealers, this concealer is one of my favorites and it's from a brand you probably wouldn't have guessed. It's from She Glam. She Glam Concealer. Yeah. Can you believe it? She Glam is actually quite nice. I do have a She Glam um, full face tutorial on my channel and I want to say like the majority of their stuff is actually pretty solid. Now their concealer their concealer so delectable it is like thick in the right ways possible it settles in the right way possible like think of the shape tape creamy that is probably the best comparison the shape tape creamy not the regular one now this one just says it's their 12 hour full coverage concealer and i have the shade madeline this is so pretty under the eyes. You can see it is really light compared to my skin tone, but it adds like the perfect brightness to my under eye area and it lasts an incredibly long time. It doesn't settle into my lines under my eyes and that is just like the winning, the winning key point of this concealer for me. It's also very affordable and um, there's not much more I have to say about it. It's just really amazing. And um, it definitely beats out a lot of other concealers that I have tried and that are in my collection as well. Again, it compares a lot to the Shape Tape Creamy. And if that says anything, maybe you should get it. Some of these products, they're not new to you, but I just wanna reiterate myself because they're really worth the money. And you know, if I say it, if I say it more, maybe they will never get discontinued okay because as you know every time i say that i love something it always gets discontinued and so i'm just going to say it now if i like it and you tend to like my recommendations this is something that you might want to get in your collection too okay now this one is the m cosmetics heaven's glow faded clementine blush so freaking pretty i know it looks very boring it looks so boring but it compares to my MAC Trace Gold, which is discontinued. Okay, don't judge, but she's very busted. Now, there is just such a slight difference between the two shades. Very, very slight. I think MAC is just a little bit darker and deeper within the gold that's in here because they are shimmery. But 
it's pretty much the same on the cheeks, right? Um, I love it so much and it's been the closest thing to my MAC Trace Gold and as you see, I'm almost done with it. So um, yeah, if you like MAC Trace Gold and you haven't been able to get your hands on it because it's discontinued, maybe try Faded Clementine by M Cosmetics and you're also supporting an Asian owned brand. Oh, here's another great transition. Speaking of Asian owned brands, Kimchi Chic. Yes. I love this bronzer from the bottom of my heart and it's also shaped like a heart. Oh, will you look at that? I love this so freaking much because it's pigmented, easy to blend, and the color is so amazing. I think Kimchi Chic is becoming one of my favorite brands of all time because literally everything that I have tried I've not been disappointed. So this one is the Thaler bronzer and it is the shade number three, I went to Venice. So beautiful. It's actually the bronzer that I'm wearing on my skin right now. Yes, it's so warm, so delectable. There's like this orangey olive undertone in here, which I believe pairs so well with my skin tone. I feel so pretty using it, by the way. And if a makeup product makes you feel pretty and it makes you feel beautiful and it makes you feel confident, that says something about that product. That is something that you have to have in your collection and it should never run out. I just got to the point where I ran through the engravings. Yup. And it has just been such a pleasure to work with. I love this so much and I cannot wait until the next sale because I'm going to be stocking up on these. It's so amazing and I really do want the plastic tiara um, and the kimchi sheet collaboration but I just haven't had the chance to get it because I'm kind of saving money right now. My boyfriend and I were planning on um, doing a vacation so I'm saving my money up for that but the bronzer is to die for. I feel like a lot of you guys know me as the lady with the smooth skin. I know I barely get any breakouts, but usually when it comes to smooth skin and when it comes to makeup, it's usually the primer that's doing the talking. So the primer that I have been loving again is the Catrice Insta To Go Blur Stick. Now this was actually my favorite back in like 2018. It, just reminded me so much of the Benefit Professional, but just a lot easier. Like if you're in a rush, it's literally in a stick form and you just slide it all over your face like it's a stick of deodorant. It's really amazing. Now, the only downside to this product is just how tiny it is. Like if I roll this all up, I'm already, all, I'm already done. That's it. And you don't get a lot of product in here. Let me read you the packaging. There is only four grams, which is 0.14 ounces. So you really don't get a lot, but it is really convenient, especially if you are trying to get into primers, you know, trying to test out the waters with them. You don't get a lot in here. It's kind of like a trial size. You can travel with it. It's TSA friendly and it's just very small and convenient. So it's nice in that aspect, but as far as long term, I wish it was bigger and I wish they offered a bigger size because I would definitely snatch it up. I've tried a lot of other blur sticks by Revolution and they all kind of broke me out. This is the only blur stick that has not broken me out and it's also really affordable. I believe this is only like five bucks. Last but certainly not least, sunscreen. This is also a product that I got from YesStyle and this is the Can Make Mermaid Skin Gel UV SPF 50 Plus. Now this one is number one, which is the clear version. They have a clear and a white. Make sure you get the clear because the clear is so bomb. It is probably one of my favorite SPFs for my face. Um, I am currently using Dr. Jart and unfortunately, if I get it too close to my eyes, my eyes water and they want to just shut close. It's really weird, like my eyes won't open. And um, with this one, I feel like I could get really close to my eyes and it won't irritate them. It won't feel like I'm getting a reaction or anything like that. It's just beautiful. It's, um, I guess, sensitive eyes friendly. I guess I have sensitive eyes now. Um, and it just pairs really well with your makeup. It's clear. And um, I do have other videos on my channel talking about this. And I do believe I have other videos using this. Um, and I don't know, what more can I say? It's a sunscreen, it's clear, um, it's relatively affordable. I think I got this one on sale for like $7 and that's really nice. 
So there you have it, you guys, just some of my random favorites. It feels so good to just sit down, dogs not barking, no one's at the house, no one's calling me and disrespecting me while I'm filming. It feels really good and um, I'm sorry I'm not uploading as much on YouTube. I'm just really slammed with work, but luckily November is slowing down just a little bit because weddings are coming to a slow, they're coming to an end a little bit. Um, so I hope to come out with more videos soon and if you guys Guys have any requests please leave them in the description box below or send me a DM I am always going to answer your DMs I don't answer them unless you are a spam or unless you're a creepo depot um, so as always I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next one bye peace out Girl Scouts